What's up, everybody? My name is Cap, and this is a team deathmatch on everybody's favorite hidey hole map, the uh, drone. Playing a little bit of hide and seek, or I mean, a team deathmatch. As uh, this uh, particular gameplay is a week or two old, I guess. Hell, I don't even remember when I recorded or whatever. So who knows what's been updated since this one actually went out? But running around with the 870, everybody's favorite shotgun. Um, no backup. We got long barrel and fast mags on it. Running with a uh, ghost. Hardline, toughness, and uh, extreme conditioning, and engineer, I guess. It's kind of a go-to setup for running class, I guess, at least in my book, especially on a map like this when so many people like to duck into a little hidey hole, throw down their flashbangs, throw down some shock charges, some bounce beddies, and just kind of hang out and hide. So anyway, what I was going to talk about in this particular video is uh, what a lot of people have talked about. You know, my buddy Thunder has, and uh, I know I think LP mentioned on it, and Mother Jugs beat, and so many people have mentioned this, and I'm doing that too. Hopefully, just maybe somebody will listen somewhere down the road, and it'll be changed. But I really think, along with everybody else, I really think that upping the score in Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirmed to 125 points per kill is essential. Check out this, getting killed by the old Tommy No Thumbs here with the Target Finder. But anyway, I think it's really essential that they update, or not update this, but up the score for each kill to from 100 to 125. I firmly believe that it's a reasonable level to change the, the points to because, you know, you know, Vondahar was saying that he wants Team Deathmatch to be gun on gun. Well, that's all Team Deathmatch is. It's all about the kills. So if you can't get your streaks, some of the higher streaks, and I know some people will be like, well, just run with the lower streaks, and most of us do. You know, here I'm using UAV, Lightning Strike, and the uh, Chopper Gun, or Stealth Chopper, sorry, wrong game. And, uh, you know, I think I get the Stealth Chopper one time, but honestly, if you're running with a group at all who's even halfway competent, and you're trying to run like VSAT, or uh, you got the Warthog, or Lodestar, or something like that, there are so many times that the round is just over before you even have a chance to call them in. You know, if you get to go on a, a major beast mode, then, you know, chances are you're not even going to get any of those, because at 100 points per kill, it takes you 11 kills to try and get a stealth chopper. And it's just retarded. you got to hope to God that the rest of your um, score streak give you enough points to do that, which the way it's at now, to me, that just forces people to camp more. They're like, okay, well, i got my UAV and my counter UAV. I'm going to park my ass right here, and I'm not going to move until it, my other score streaks stack up here, because I can't get them anyway. And, you know, everybody's posted out examples so many times, of, uh, you know, showing them going on a 7, 8, 9, you know, beasting streak, just running around kicking ass with their guns, whatever, and then they get killed one off a Lodestar, one off a of VSAT, one off something that they're actually trying to go for. And it is really frustrating, it is. You know, that's just, it's not just my opinion. There's a lot of people that like that, especially in free-for-all. The matches run a long time. Team death matches, some of the matches end up being quite long just trying to get your damn streaks going. And I'm not saying that kills, this is not a kill streak game. I know that, you know, kills are what's important, etc. and everything. But in Team Deathmatch, it's all about the kills. Everything boils down to getting the kills. So if you're struggling just to try and do anything but, and running around like, you know, we are in half these maps, you're running around trying to find people. Everybody's in their little hidey holes and nobody's moving. It's, it's annoyingly frustrating when you spend that much time, get that close to something, and then it just failed because somebody's hiding in the corner with a target finder and their shock charges and bouncing beddies and everybody else is not moving. So I think, me personally, I think if they up the score from 100 to 125, it would force people, or not force people, it would allow people to not have to camp so much and have to hide out and hope to God that they get their score streaks, you know? I mean, that's basically getting in a UAV one extra kill or getting a VSAT in, I think, two extra kills it would come down to. So you're still having to kind of work for them. But, I mean, you go back to previous uh, Black Ops and, uh, you know, got your UAV and three kills. You got your stealth chopper, or you got your chopper gunner, basically, and nine kills, and, that, and your Blackbird at eight kills. So, I mean, within nine kills, basically, you could have pretty much most of your kill streaks going on there and if you do make it up to 11 well you got your dogs if you want to call them in too versus here you get your 11 kills and team deathmatch and you barely can call in a vsat so i mean they changed it enough and i know vaughn's thing is he's trying to make it like bare bones basically so and i personally don't play bare bones i don't know anybody else that does it's i know there's some people out there like well it's better it's all gun on gun it requires skill you're not just hiding in the back letting your kill streaks kill stuff Yes, I realize that point of view. I understand that point of view. I'm saying that I think by having the score streaks up a little bit, it'll make it a whole lot more fun. You know, it's just, um, 
And I'm not talking about just as far as YouTube fun, talking about, okay, well, this will make actually more entertaining videos to watch. I'm not talking about that at all. I'm talking about just fun in general, being able to run around and just destroy the enemy with a barrage of gunfire and explosions and calling your kill streaks and keep on running, keep doing your thing or whatever. I think it would just help out so much. And so here I'm going to pick up the old noob gun. Go ahead and pick up two of these. This thing is so overpowered. I don't care what anybody says. Target Finder is way overpowered for what it actually does here. It makes this game so easy on any gun. I mean, I don't even remember what gun I just picked up here, but I know that... Okay, boom. Didn't see that guy, but the old Target Finder sure did. It just makes it way too damn easy. So anyway, I'm not going to get into a rant on that. That's something entirely different. But, you know, you can see I'm going on a pretty good streak here. And, you know, trying my best to do that, but it's not like it's racking up a whole lot. You know, UAV up, got Stealth Chopper up. I'm running around still trying to get kills, but, you know, I'm not getting anywhere close to my next, you know, looping back around on the kill streaks there. So, like I said, I know some people are going to hate on this. Some people are going to dislike the video and say, yeah, it's not about the score streaks, it's about working as a team, and blah, blah, blah. I understand that. I do. I understand both sides. This is just my opinion on the thing. I just think it would do better overall if they up the score limit. So, uh... If you agree, you know, like the video. If not, just like the video or leave a comment or whatever. So, anyway, I finished out. Not the most beastest round, but that's the problem with running in a full party. So, anyway, you guys have a good one, and I will talk to you later.